Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Well, are you guys here tonight? Are you ready for beer? Good evening. Good evening. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. How are, how's everybody doing tonight? Okay, we've got a great lineup for you tonight. Um, but just uh, first, I'd like to say a few words. I'd like to say a few words about White Lion and the White Lion. The White Lion, the, the mythical character um, which brings humankind together. The White Lion, the first craft beer brand in the Springfield market and still brewed in Springfield, this White Lion. <laughs> the idea that seeing the, the craft beer industry grow and wanting it to be local in Springfield, White Lion Brewing, partnering with the community in mind, started in 2014. Look around Springfield. Look what the home team is brewing. <laughs> White Lion's new home at 1500 Main Street in downtown Springfield, and a man I'm called to call. I'm proud to call my brother, my brother in Cap Alpha Psi, uh, and the founder and idea generator, the one I like to call the real most interesting man in the world, <laughs> Ray Barry Jr. And. Uh, that's okay to clap. That's okay to clap for Ray. And Ray has with him tonight um, uh, Mike, Ashley, and Jill, um, his, his partners. Is that the right word to say? His partners. And we're, we're disappointed that um, the chief ambassador is not here tonight, but he may show up later. Uh, Leopold, the chief ambassador, the chief brand ambassador, who you've all seen on social media. Um, uh, but we'd just like to welcome you. We'd like to welcome you to the White Lion Brewing Company's ribbon cutting. And um, before I bring on the superstar here uh, to my left. That's Ray Barry, not me. To my left. Um, um, you, you all know um, Mayor Dominic Sarno, um, uh, who has um, balanced Springfield's complexity, um, sometimes with vexing issues, sometimes with challenges, but mostly with wins. He's known for financial stewardship, community-based program building and education. Um, although we've sometimes seen challenges in public safety, he's had big wins in economic development. He's committed. He drives hard and fights hard for our city. He's worked to unify our diverse and local population. And he's compassionate. He's compassionate about Carla, his wife. He's compassionate about Kiera and Cassandra, his daughters. And he draws strength from Alfonso, Al and his, his mother, Carla. Al, his dad, and his mother, Carla. And mostly and especially with respect to economic development. He's eliminated complexity. He's elevated his commitment and our commitment to local economic development. And he's continuing to emphasize his, his compassion. His compassion for our city, the city of Springfield. Welcome the city of Springfield's mayor, Dominic Sarno. Thank you, man. Thank you. You I said it just the way I wrote it. I appreciate that I, I, very thank much. You. So. Thank, thank you for your no. editing. <laughs> no. I have a proclamation. I'm not going to get into the proclamation. We're not going to declare a White Lion Day. But let me, let me do this first. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> Music to my ears and my taste buds. I was, talking to, I was talking to Ray's mom, and let's give her a big round of applause. And we almost sit in, in unison how proud we are of, of Ray. And, and to have, this has been a dream of Ray's and his team, and I want to thank Dinesh Patel of Tower Square and the Marriott owner and, and all the people who have worked toward with this. But, this has been a dream of race for so, so long. And as we move to defeat this COVID-19, the city's coming back. White Lion, Kenny Lumpkin's place, Dewey's Jazz Lounge. Things are happening. Yeah. You can hop around. But it is so, it is so good to have Jim Cook here from uh, Sam Boston Brewing Company, Sam Adams Beer. Because here's the analogy here. Ray has hustled everywhere you can imagine. Mr. Jim Cook, and I enjoy your summer, uh, uh, Sam Adams summer ale, it's very good. When you, 
listen to the story that's done on, on the business, uh, whether it's a business journal or Boston Business Journal, or nationally. Jim Cook did the same thing. He hustled beer, cases of beer, out of his station wagon. Everybody knows what Ray and his team have done. To get to this point in time, the belief in investment, the sweat, the tears, the blood that has been poured in to do this, um, and a lot of times people cannot reach their dreams and sometimes they give up on those goals. Ray never did and all his investors and partners. So I think it's appropriate uh, Ray and Jim Cook are together because they tell the same story. They tell the same story and I deeply appreciate Jim Cook being here because he also gives, he's very philanthropic to uh, uh, brewing companies and he was one of the first to do it when nobody else was doing it. And now we have our very own, it's sort of back to the future. Springfield had many brewers back here 70, 80, 100 years ago, but it's back now with Ray Berry and White Lion. So Ray, I again, so, so proud of you. You never lost uh, touch with your dream, your stick to it of this. And now we have a wonderful place right here in Tower Square. And uh, again, it was music to my ears opening up and my taste buds tasting that beer. But I'm gonna say, all the accolades are here and I, I don't have my cheaters on, but I wrote here, very proud of you, Ray and team. Dreams do come true, good health, Good luck, continued success, God bless. And today, we will declare Wednesday, June 23rd, 2021, as White Lion Day in the city of Springfield. And I urge all my residents and business community and visitors to please patronize the White Lion because it roars again. Ray, God bless you and good luck. Okay. Now put your hands together for my friend and colleague and our state senator, Adam Gomez. taking those directions really, really well. I appreciate that. Thank you, Mayor, for your introduction. Um, my name is Adam Gomez, State Senator for the Hamden District. Um, it's a very proud day, very proud day for minority business, for uh, dreamers, that dreams do come true. Um, I remember when I dreamt once, and I wanted to become a ward counselor right here in ward, and, and right here in the city of Springfield, and we're sitting right here in Ward 1, and we had another uh, conversation before, and and really just to watch the incredible, incredible tenacity and the determination of this team. And um, I know that there was highs and lows. It was a roller coaster ride to get to this point to open this tap room. And, you know, as a friend, I just want to say congratulations because you inspire not only, you know, the business owners that during COVID, we, we really went through a, a, a really hard time. And still with the help of some resources, Things of this nature are possible. If we keep on you know, pushing and we keep on putting our best foot forward, um, these, these, uh, these dreams that sometimes we feel like they're, that they can't happen, they will. And just to, just to really feel and, and, and get to this day, uh, this is a White Lion Wednesday. I remember when we started off in the parks, this is a White Lion Wednesday. And, It, it, it's fitting. It's fitting to to be amongst um, all the other business owners that came to support Ray and his team. Um, but really, it really took a village to make sure that this happened. So, you know, shout outs to everyone that uh, bought a White Lion beer on tap at any of the uh, pouring establishments before. And you know, we challenge you to come in and uh, patronize this location and drink a White Lion tonight. So, for the most part, congratulations, amazing work, and how the mayor and myself loves to say this is the beginning and fitting for a roaring 20s in yeah. the city of Springfield. Congratulations. Yeah. And the next speaker, uh, uh, I sat next to her for two years on the city council, learned a lot, and um, also I like to bring to the, to the podium uh, my former colleague, my sister in government, Tracy Whitfield.
Thank you. So I'm Tracy Whitfield, Springfield City Council at Large, and I am so happy to be here. I just got a quick story about Ray. I met him about 2012, 2013, and I was just admiring him and looking up to him, and I was like, Ray, what do I, what are you doing to make your business successful? What are you doing to just, you know, push it to the next, next level? And Ray said, never sleep, never sleep. <laughs> And I said, well, I'm starting my business too, but I must have fell asleep or took a nap because I'm starting over with it. But Ray, you, you can go to sleep now, okay? You can finally um, take a rest. And so I'm just so happy to see how you grew over the years because it's been almost 10 years and you have made it. We are so proud of you. Mom, you did an excellent job with him. He is a wonderful, a wonderful man and you deserve everything that you have accomplished because you worked hard, never slept. So I have a proclamation on behalf of the city council, but first I just want to acknowledge my colleague, um, Jesse Letterman, city councilor at large, state rep Bob Williams, state rep Jake Oliveira, and we already heard from our wonderful Mayor Sarno. So I will read the proclamation. City of Springfield, June 23rd, 2021. Whereas the city council is always pleased to recognize an outstanding business in the city of Springfield. And whereas White Lion, the first craft beer brand to go to market in Springfield, Massachusetts. And whereas the company has all the necessary ingredients for, for a successful, sustainable future, a compelling brand, a smart plan for growth and a commitment to being a vital part of the city's renaissance. And whereas White Lion intends to serve as a catalyst for, the, for, for Springfield's revitalization. And whereas White Lion launched a contract brand in 2014 and started brewing in Springfield in October 2020. And whereas White Lion is the first full production craft brewery in downtown Springfield. Woohoo! <laughs> And whereas White Lion is an award-winning brand and its beers have won a number of national medals, and whereas White Lion is one of five black-owned breweries out of 220 in Massachusetts. All right. <laughs> That's right. And whereas White Lion looks to create an exclusive environment showcasing the best the city of Springfield and Western Mass has to offer. Now, therefore, be it proclaimed that Springfield City Council hereby recognizes, honors, commends the White Lion on their ribbon cutting ceremony at Tower Square, 1500 Main Street, and thanks them for making the home of Springfield, Massachusetts, their home to Springfield in Springfield, Massachusetts, and wishes them continued success. A, a proclamation sponsored on June 23rd. 2021 honoring White Lion Brewery, attest by our city clerk, Gladys Oyola Lopez, sponsored by city councilors, Tracy Whitfield, Justin Hurst, Jesse Letterman, and all councilors. We just have a few more guests for you this evening. I'd like to um, to bring up uh, uh, one of them, uh, Bud. If you could, uh, Bud State Rep. Bud Williams. You can say a few words. Thank you, Bud. That's my fraternity brother. I just uh, we greeted in a very secret way. First of all, uh, Ann. Remember Big Sam Thomas Tech High? Sam's son. Right. Boy, you look just like your dad. He could play some hoop too. He's big. Yeah. Sam I didn't Thomas. Get that, Gene. Coach, yeah. It's good to see you again. Uh, protocol has already been set. As I scan this room, I'm going to look around to make sure what I say is very accurate. I have probably known Ray Berry longer than your exception, longer than anybody in this room. <laughs> That's a true statement. And Ray came out of New Jersey. Brass. Cocky, full of energy. Now take over Spring. Buddy, his mother's here, okay? Well, he was, uh, she knows it. And uh, I actually met him, uh, Tracy, through former counselor Mo Jones, who always had young people with him. And always, with Henry, like Henry Twiggs, he always had young people with him, talking to young people, trying to educate young people and showing them the right way. 
So I've known Ray a long, long time. We've had some nice talks, and we had some nice, so not so nice talks. Cause Ray is, I, I like his, uh, his confidence and himself. And when he came to White Line, it was like, I was, that was, how many years ago has that been now? Seven years, he's talking about some white lion. I said, well, are we going back to Africa? You're talking about white lion. I know black lion, I don't know about white lion. So we're talking, he has this, and I'm not a beer guy. I don't, I don't I'm not a beer guy, but he's made a lot of us uh, have supported you. And I'm not, I will do that to support you. But congratulations for, for your vision, uh, your tenacity, and your uh, commitment to what it really means to be successful. Because, you know, on this trail, you get a lot of ups, you get a lot of downs, a lot of highs, and a lot of lows. You're on the mountaintop, you're in the valley, and someone's always, you got that little candle in the dark, someone's always trying to blow out that candle. Someone's always trying to blow out that candle when you're in the dark. So I want to uh, commend you. Uh, this is fantastic. This is great, man. Uh, and I, we tried to pitch it to the Red Sox. They did very interested. I did the best I could do. But let's give uh, Ray Berry uh, for his commitment to downtown. He's been on this a long, long time. And he started as an individual by himself. Now he has this big team. So I know I, know I, see, uh, I see my dear friend Tony Richards from, uh, from the governor's office. And I know we want to really talk to you and really help you in which the state should really be helping you. With only five in the whole Commonwealth. We're very proud of you. We're going to give you the support that you really need. And I'm just happy to be here, a part of a year of big day. Thank you, my brother. Yeah. This guy, this guy. OK. Um, and next, we'd like to bring up Walter. Walter Kroll represents the building. Walter, um, uh, thank you for joining Great, us today. Great, thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Walter Kroll with McMillan Group. I'm here representing the owners of Tower Square. On behalf of ownership here at Tower Square uh, and all of us at McMillan, uh, we want to welcome you to this a very exciting day. Uh, I believe you would all agree there's, after, there's no better way to celebrate after being stuck in COVID nightmare than to celebrate with Ray and his success in beer. Uh, this opening represents a continued commitment by Tower Square to expand the amenities here in our community. Um, and soon enough, we'll be having another, another grand opening here for the Springfield Marriott. Uh, on behalf of the ownership, Ray, welcome. On behalf of us as tenants and, and Leasing here, can't wait. Can't wait. God bless. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'd just like to um, to welcome this next gentleman to the stage. Um, he's he's no stranger to craft beer. He tours the Commonwealth, um, recording uh, craft beer owners, craft beer founders, and the craft beer process. Um, Colin Knight, uh, welcome Colin Knight from Black Brew Dialogues to the stage. Uh, I'm so delighted to be here tonight. Um, I met Ray last year over Zoom uh, during a diversity and inclusion uh, uh, committee uh, meeting with the Mass Brewers Guild. And the moment he uh, appeared on the screen, I just realized uh, his energy was just so great and I just knew like I wanted to, you know, be a part of whatever he was doing. Uh, and so when we decided to do uh, the show Black Blue Dialogues, which is um, a show that focuses on diversity and inclusion within the beer culture, um, I, I had to have Ray as my first guest. Um, so we did our first pilot episode with White Lion. Um, I got to tour the facility. I got a chance to talk to Waleska and get a chance to know, uh, you know, a little bit more about the history of Springfield. Um, and it was absolutely an amazing experience. Um, what I see out here is uh, community. And it's exactly what Ray wanted. It's exactly what Ray is pushing for. Um, just to have people from all walks of life uh, come through White Line door, White Line's doors. And so for me, uh, I'm just delighted to be here. 
and I'm so uh, happy for him. And as an entrepreneur myself, um, I, I just uh, I look up to him so much. Um, he's uh, somebody that uh, I look at as an older brother, you know, even though I haven't known him that long. Um, but, you know, the love that flows through him, you know, uh, is just so palpable. Um, and uh, I just, um, I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for Mike. And uh, I can't wait uh, to, to come to Springfield and to visit White Lion frequently because I am a craft beer lover. Um, and uh, so thank you guys all so much for having me. And um, Ray, man, congratulations, man. Really, truly. And next, I'd like to introduce to you a legend. A legend in craft beer. Jim Cook created Sam's Adams Beer in his kitchen. He's known as the founding father of, a, of the American craft brewery movement. A Harvard graduate, Cook quit his consulting gig to start brewing his grandfather's 1870 recipe. And then as Ray did, Cook sold door to door to Boston's bars and restaurants to create what we all know as Sam's Adams Beer. Now, I, I project this for White Lion. Um, uh, uh, Jim took Boston Beer Public in 1995. He owns a 26% stake. And in 1991, he sold it for $1 billion. Wow. With over 60 <laughs> types of beer. With over 60 types of beer. Is that news to you, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> projecting for White Lion Brewing. <laughs> oh, did you hear that? Projecting, projecting, right? We're projecting life, life together, right? Um, craft beer is sweeping our nation. It's sweeping the world. And White Lion is on the forefront. I'd like to, to welcome Jim with Sam Adams, who started this movement for us in the 90s. Jim. Thank you, oh. Oh. Thank you for that. Um, and I did actually manage to, uh, <laughs> yes, brewers have ways. Uh, <laughs> And, and I am actually told by many people that I'm really boring when I'm sober, so. Uh, <laughs> delicious. Thank you. Uh, uh, I'm really uh, happy and gratified to be here because um, I met Ray six years ago um, when he came to uh, one of our coaching sessions for uh, up-and-coming small businesses in a program we call Brewing the American Dream. And uh, as those of you who know Ray, uh, like all of you, I realized I was in the presence of somebody special. Um, the guy is just charismatic, and he has this energy and enthusiasm that you just want to be a part of. I don't know where he got it. I'm I'm guessing from his mom, like most of us. Uh, and, you know, I've been able to watch his growth and development for uh, the past six years. And, and when I saw him, I, I recognized actually a lot of myself. Um, he was, obviously he's better looking, he's better dressed, but he had uh, the same sort of passion and just determination to pull this off. It, it's not easy starting a small brewery. Um, I, I can tell you from my experience, I, and it, it uh, as one of the earlier speakers said, but you know, we're all candles, uh, and somebody's always trying to blow it out. Uh, and if it's not some jerk from St. Louis or whatever, uh, it's, uh, and I, I, I could tell you some stories about how they tried to put me out of business, but um, I'm still here, uh, and August Bush is gone. So um, it does show you the staying power of committed, determined, 
people. And Ray went from his dream of starting a brewery in Springfield uh, when there were none uh, to actually pulling it off. I mean, it's amazing. It's a beautiful brewery. That ain't lunch money, so whoever helped fund him, God love you. Um, and Springfield deserves it. Uh, this is a story probably very few of you know, but um, Springfield uh, gave a great gift to the craft brewers uh, in the form of Richie Neal, um, who is your congressman. Um, he has been the best friend in Washington to the community of small brewers. And we, as the Small Brewers of America, actually recognized him some years ago um, as the guy who'd done the most for the craft brewing industry. So there is some great justice that White Lion is opening here uh, in Springfield. Um, and it's very gratifying to me to see this fulfilled. Springfield needed uh, a craft brewery, and it finally has one, and it just, uh, we should all feel very good about Ray's success so far, because uh, to me it just feels great, because we all want to live in a world where good people do well, and it just makes me feel really good to see this good person do so well. So um, I very much you know, hope that Springfield and this community supports him, all of us, Sam Adams uh, to White Lion, rely on the goodwill and support of our communities. So um, come here and drink. And when you are not drinking here and you go into a bar or restaurant, uh, order a White Lion. And if they don't have it, ask them why they don't. And tell the server to tell his or her manager And tell the server to tell his or her manager, you should have White Lion here. Why don't you have White Lion? And if you don't, I'm not coming back. <laughs> so right. um, I hope all of you support Ray and his vision. And I, I had a good day when I walked in and saw all those tanks. God bless you, man. Cheers. And now almost the moment you've been waiting for, because the moment you've been waiting for is to buy the beer. <laughs> but almost the moment you've been waiting for, the founder of White Lion Brewing, please welcome Raymond Barry Jr. Okay, wow. I hope I can uh, hold it together. Now I really want to thank each and every one of you each and every one of you. I also want to thank the distinguished speakers, Mr. Mayor, State House delegation, obviously Jim, Cook, my uh, frat brother Greg, Walter from the Tower, my man Colin. Um, and obviously, obviously, I was getting there, counselor. <laughs> obviously my mom and my daughter who have been with me on this journey from day one, so I want to thank them yes. very, very much. You know, um, there's been a lot of Ray, 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 but I really want to call up the entire team. Please. Some of them are not here, but uh, they're here in spirit. But to my left, to your right, is the gentleman that has been with me from day one. That's an order, Ray. That's an order. <laughs> he, um, he believed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In just a dream. I had to pitch him. And I'll never forget, he said, Ray, you know what? I, you know, we just met. Give me two weeks. Two weeks he came back. 
And he said, let's do this together. So Mike Yates is that guy. And then real quick, the first person to ever step up and volunteer, didn't have any resources to hire, was Jill DeSato. She did countless tastings for two years. I, don't, I hope the Department of uh, Labor isn't here, <laughs> but she did it pro bono, so I want to thank her as well. Everyone touched on the, the fabric of White Lion. So folks always ask us, what is White Lion? White Lion is a symbol of good for humankind. It's an extension beyond race, color, creed, or gender. So it doesn't matter who you are or where you come from, it's about sharing in a common experience. And for us, that common experience is this brewery today. So what you will see in this brewery, it's gonna be the fabric of who we are as people. You're gonna see black, white, brown, a multitude of gender identities. You're gonna see young, old, hipsters, rockers, hip hop heads. You'll see baby boomers, Gen Xers, millennials, Gen Zers. You'll see folks wearing the finest suits. You'll see folks rocking the finest sneakers. So we are a true reflection of you, and you are a true reflection of White Lion. So we built the brand on community, and we promise to continue that walk and to lead by example. To the community stakeholders, and there's far too many trust me to name, but at our infancy, if it were not for Common Capital, Sam Adams through its Brewing the American Dream, and some seed money by the city of Springfield, it just doesn't happen. So I want to thank you personally for, for that. We get to this point because of, again, another belief in Tower Square. Dinesh, please stand with me. He and his ownership group heard the story and wanted to be part of the story. So I know it's been a trial to get this brewery online for you and your team and the entire Tower Square staff and management. I just want to say thank you, man. Thank you. You're a good dude. I appreciate you. I know there's a number of folks in here from the nonprofit world. I, I, I walked with you so many times, and during this transition, there was, there's been so many obstacles. Some of it was just due to inexperience along the way. But this deal was structured through countless meetings, countless hours. Jay Leonard, Mass Mutual, Valley Venture Mentors, Jeff Fialki, Scott Foster, uh, Jeff Sullivan from New Valley Bank, uh, the hospitality group, again, for structuring the financial aspect of putting this brewery online. So I'd like to thank them as well. So um, I think Buddy, Buddy mentioned I'm from, I'm from New Jersey, but I've been, it feels like I've been here forever. Um, but the city of Springfield is my home and you have embraced me yes, from day one. So today, uh, the brewery is dedicated not only to the city, but the region. Uh, we are one of the one percenters out there. We hope to model the way and highlight the opportunities the craft beer trade has to offer. We hope to be your representative when you're out talking about and showing pride in a local brand. Um, so now is the time. So bear with us as we transition from that brand, that beer garden pop-up, as we onboard the new tap room and bring you a new experience. We're also happy to announce in two, two and a half weeks, we'll have Highbrow Restaurant serving food 
here on a daily basis, Tuesday through Saturday. So we're looking to share that lunch experience with you as well. Our grand opening is officially the 26th, but we're open for business today. <laughs> so come on in. Uh, I would be remiss if I did not mention today is a Live at Five event sponsored by the Springfield Business Improvement District. So thank them for believing in us and kicking off this, press, uh, this uh, ribbon cutting uh, with Live at Five. So Dinesh, we're gonna set up the ribbon. So we're gonna now set up the ribbon and have the, uh, the official cutting. Uh, so to, again, to all of you, to the city, to the Lion Pride, cheers. Thank you.